Right? Let's music in a second. The View co-host Whoopi Goldberg suspended for two weeks for her comments about the Holocaust. Ariel Reshev has the story. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, George. Though Goldberg has apologized, her comments sparked a firestorm. Some seeing this as a troubling sign of fading understanding about the horrors of the Holocaust. This morning, ABC News suspending Whoopi Goldberg for two weeks in response to her inflammatory remarks about the Holocaust. ABC Bro, I don't know why the fuck they actually like gave her time off. She's an idiot, but like I don't think she's I don't think she's like anti-Semitic or or meant to be anti-Semitic at all. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I mean, she did say she she like all lives matter, the Holocaust kind of, but I I thought it was just like a breakdown in communication. Uh, we're going to hear what she said. She basically stated that uh, she basically stated something along the lines of like the Nazis weren't white supremacists. Like it was something about how just violent and evil they are, but not necessarily uh, like white supremacists. The news president Kim Godwin saying in a statement, effective immediately, I am suspending Whoopi Goldberg for two weeks for her wrong and hurtful comments. While Whoopi has apologized, I've asked her to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. The entire ABC News organization stands in solidarity with our Jewish colleagues, friends, family, and communities. If you're yeah. going to do this, then let's be truthful about it, because the Holocaust isn't about race. On Monday's show, the host of ABC's The View inaccurately claimed the Holocaust was not related to race. It's not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. Whoopi Goldberg. Goldberg appearing to double down on the Colbert show that night. The American experience tends to be based on skin. Yes. And so that is what race means to me. Mm -hmm. When you talk about uh, being a racist, I was saying you can't call this racism. This was evil. Mm -hmm. This wasn't this wasn't based on the skin. You okay, but like the Nazis literally dude, she is so Amerabrained, dude. Like literally, the she has American brain rot. That's what it is. It's like assuming that like uh racism is just uh, the American version of racism, which is uh which is built around the one drop rule and and all that sort of stuff, which Ironic because like Hitler did look to America and the Jim Crow South and our eugenics and said, that is very good. I would like to do some of this very good stuff. What you're doing in the South, very good. We're going to do this in Germany as well. So, so like technically Hitler kind of fucking bit the, the American brand of racism. So even on that point of view, like she's still wrong. You know what I mean? And she, the, he absolutely did consider uh, uh, Jews to not be a part of uh, the Volkish, uh, the the German Volk, uh, the the actual true Germans. So, you know, Hitler did jack our swag, one hundred percent. Hitler jacked our racist swag, uh, pretty hard. He's here to stealing your own labor back from your corporate overlords chat. Couldn't tell who was Jewish. Mm -hmm. They had to delve deeply to figure it out. Then tweeting an apology, saying in part, the Jewish people around the world have always had my support, and that will never waver. I'm sorry for the hurt I have caused. And the next day, opening the view with this. I said that the Holocaust wasn't about race, and it was instead about man's inhumanity to man. But it is indeed about race, because Hitler and the Nazis considered Jews to be an inferior race. Now, words matter, and mine are no exception. I regret my comments, as I said, and I stand corrected. I also stand with the Jewish people, as they know, and y'all know, because I've always done that. By the end of the Holocaust, just 77 years ago, six million Jews had been murdered. That might not fit exactly or feel different than the way we think about race in 21st century America, where primarily it's about people of color. But throughout the Jewish people's history, they have been marginalized, they have been persecuted. They have been slaughtered in large part because many people felt they were not just a different religion, but indeed a different race. The head of the Anti-Defamation League warning anti-Semitism is still a real... Yes, chat, shut the fuck up. Yes, I know the ADL sucks, okay? It doesn't matter. This is like... 
What he's saying is still correct here in this situation, okay? I know, I know, I know. I don't know why everybody always fucking runs to be like, <laughs> ADL Pepela. Yeah, I know, they suck, okay? They're not good. What do you want? They're not wrong in this situation, so... The ADL is the Anti-Defamation League, okay? Um, and the, the reason why, uh, of course, this leftist chat is saying Pepe La ADL is because uh, the ADL is a, a, a organization that uh, regularly conflates anti-Zionism with anti-Semitism, shit like that. It's really fucked up. and present danger. Why did you hate on PewDiePie for retracting his donor to the ADL then? Because, wait, what? I, did you not hear me talk about that back then? Because PewDiePie donating the, the, the amount of money to the ADL was like to say fuck off to the Nazis. So when he literally listened to the grifter Nazis in his chat, in his community, and then turn around and like retract the donation, that's still worse. You know what I mean? Like, while I, while I disagree with the ADL's practices and while I disagree with the ADL's uh, uh, attitude towards Zionism and how uh, I believe that they also uh, weaponize anti-Semitism to make political points and, and run defense for an apartheid uh, running ethnostate by the name of Israel, I still agreed with PewDiePie who has actual fucking Nazis in his community turning around and giving money to them because it was more so like, um, you know, to a, to an institution that does that. The reason we hate ADL isn't the same reason why Nazis and Chuds hate ADL. Exactly. People on good faith on the left and the right to call this out forcefully, fully, without hesitation. And studies show an alarming decline in knowledge about the Holocaust at a time when anti-Semitism has surged to unprecedented levels. The FBI saying Jews are the most targeted for religious-based hate crimes I'm in this country. And George, as you heard it. there, Goldberg saying she regrets her comments and any hurt they may have caused. ABC News suspending the comedian and actor Whoopi Goldberg from the... This is, uh, of course, goaded on the, the quirk, the white girl, goaded on the sauce. Amy Goodman with Democracy Now, talking to the mouse author, Art Spiegelman, okay, about this situation. You realize corona is a brain disease, right? The view. I mean, it was an amazing moment on The View, because she's decrying Mouse being um, uh, banned in Tennessee, um, but did say it wasn't about race, the Holocaust. It, uh, it was about man's inhumanity to man. Uh, she afterwards apologized um, and said she now understood, you know, Hitler. Someone said, there's no way Jews are targeted more than Muslims in the U.S. Brother, when Muslims are targeted in the United States— it's done at an institutionalized level, though. So I do believe that it's like the overwhelming majority of uh, anti-Muslim targeting still comes from the federal government. So the FBI is not going to be like, yeah, we did a really bad job targeting Muslims. Like, that doesn't mean that there isn't Islamophobia. Of course there is, right? Of course there is a fuckload of Islamophobia. But the uh, by and large majority of Islamophobia and uh, inappropriate targeting of Muslims is still coming from the federal government. You know, the call's coming from inside the house. Whereas uh, with anti-Semitism, I truly do believe it. Uh, I, I, there's a lot of fucking anti-Semitic attacks and hate crimes that happen. Because anti-Semitism is at the heart of every conspiracy theory. Like, they're the OG. Uh, they are literally, quite literally, Jews are the OG scapegoat, okay? Like, throughout history, through pogroms, blood libel, like, they have always, every single fucking conspiracy theory goes back to, those guys are at fault. Those guys are responsible. Even shit like flat earther conspiracies, as you know, uh, which I find rather uh, tame and not as problematic as others. Like, it's funny, it's cute, whatever. But 
even if you go deep down into the fucking flat earth or bubble, okay? Or I guess hollow earth. I don't know, bubble, whatever. Even if you go deep down enough to the uh, on that rabbit hole, you will find that uh, they believe that like NASA is being led by Jews and shit like that. So it's it's always that uh, that's always the case, which is precisely why I don't uh, disagree or I'm not shocked by uh, anti-Semitism being like the number one uh, way We're that people are uh, targeted for hate crimes. Jews as an inferior race. Your thoughts that that's the fallout uh, from the banning. Well, I believe she should have been left on TV, especially after she apologized. But in any case, because I think in this age, we're all adult, including Whoopi Goldberg. And I think she had conflicting images of where we're at right now, in the sense that uh, somehow us Jews have become honorary white in this moment, and that allowed her to get uh, a bit confused about where the issues really are. And I got to say, I'm a First Amendment fundamentalist, and therefore um, not as upset about the, uh, I don't know, I hate using the word, but for now, let's say cancel culture. I don't know if I can believe anti-Semitism is the biggest source of hate crimes. Dude. 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 Hate crimes against black people or hateful actions against black people are institutionalized. Hateful actions against uh, Muslims are institutionalized. Hateful actions against Jewish people are not institutionalized in that same way. What do you not understand about this? Okay? And also, they're not even talking about races. They're talking about uh, on the basis of religion. That's the reason why uh, uh, Jewish people get uh, targeted higher, because of the religious hate crimes. Uh, as a way of uh, redressing the great wrongs that um, Mr. Johnson was talking about in your previous segment. Uh, but it's all kind of ball of confusion, like the attempts to ban uh, Huckleberry Finn over the decades uh, by Mark Twain, where actually... Uh, Jim is uh, probably the most, um, the wisest and most fully realized character in the book. Uh, and I think Mark Twain must have been aware of it. He wrote it. Uh, and I think that it's uh, misguided because the language includes a trigger word uh, in his story. But that, that's the word that was absolutely current back then. And therefore... Although I love it when I find books on my own and was indeed a little worried when I first heard Mouse was being put into this uh, um, curriculum, just because I don't know who's ready to read this, who isn't ready to read this. But in a, a situation like the one that the uh, teachers who were testifying to the board of parents put it. Uh, it's fucking mind boggling. It's absolutely insane. Oh, by the way, this is a classic, classic uh, Democracy Now! moment where, you know, the guest is fucking talking and talking and talking, and they're about to run out of time. What you're about to see is a classic Democracy Now! moment, okay? Anyway, as I was saying, um, it, it, it's, it's mind-boggling that they fucking uh, deleted Mouse. Like, they, they, in Tennessee, they were like, oh, no, it's too much. There's too much nudity. Fucking so this stupid. is things that happened. This book has been shown to be very effective. It's gonna say you have that, thirty uh, seconds. This is uh, Art Spiegelman. Mistake. We have to leave it there, but I thank you so much for being with us. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. Stay safe. Classic. They always do this. It's so funny. If you've ever listened to Democracy Now, you know this is like a classic Democracy Now moment. Okay. Just like the top of the hour ad break is a classic Asocracy Now moment. I don't know why I said that.